hey guys welcome to my channel i am the pick a card empress and today we're asking how your person is thinking and feeling about you so i have my three pals as usual and we do have extended with vibes bags today okay so um in the first pile we have the mermaid tarot and we have this bag and there's some kind of little maybe a policeman and it says time tries all interesting so this is the first one um and then the second pile um is the crystal unicorn tarot with um the crystal unicorn and then we have the mythical creatures tarot um with the butterflies um pile number one um has the amethyst pile number two black tumuline um pile number three green calcite i also want to thank mandy summers for the gifts of this amazing deck um the magical dimensions deck and also um stacy for the gift of the messages from the mermaids so we're really getting really magical today with all these different high vibrational creatures um spirit guides um and let's get into this so do your thing pick your pal and i'm going to be back shortly um with your reading Hey, power one, if you chose the amethyst and the, and the mermaid tarot, um, this is going to be your reading. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into this magical dimensions um, activation cards. And let's have um, a card, a significator for your person um, and their energy towards you um, at this time. This is such a gorgeous deck, so much beautiful um, healing energy coming off this deck. So let's see what we get, guys. A significator, their energy towards you. Alrighty. So we have isolation. It says loneliness, reconnection, and home. All right. So what am I getting here? All right. Well, uh, this is like divine masculine energy, and they're howling at the moon. Um, they are missing you, really missing you, missing you, missing you. They can't get you off their mind. And they're getting so much signs from spirit about you. They're getting so much synchronicity. They just cannot deny their feelings um, any longer. I think because of what they're going through and they're not fully understanding what's happening, they have isolated themselves from other people because nobody really understands what this person is going through right now. They don't understand the depth of the longing and the yearning that this person feels. I mean, I'm looking at this card and looking at him and I'm getting really emotional myself. You know, they feel like they're all alone in this whole wide universe. And the only person that can understand who they, how they feel and the only person that they feel connected to and the only person that they want in their arms, in their life, it's not there. So this person's thinking about reconnection. They're thinking about reconciliation. They're thinking about how do they come home um, to you because they are so lonely. But this is spirit working in this person's life. This is spirit working in this person's life to push them forward because this is a card number 25. And 25 reduced to 7, which is about divine intervention because 7 is the number of the divine. And it's also about a chariot. This person was stuck, okay? It's like they were choosing not to do anything. They were choosing to stay in their little cave, okay, and not come out, okay? They felt protected there. That's a comfort zone they were staying in. Never mind they were surrounded by so much negativity. Never mind that they had all this beautiful power inside and they weren't unleashing, okay? They would prefer to stay safe in their comfort zone, but spirit is telling them no. That's not where they're meant to be. They're meant for greatness, and this is their partner. And, you know, this person, I'm really missing you, and there's a lot of regret that I'm getting off of this card. I'm still going to pull a couple cards on it, but this is definitely the message that I'm getting. I'm getting on as well a lot of spiritual energy surrounding your person. Um, at this time, they're being supported. They don't think that they're being supported, but they are being supported in this, in closing of, of, of a cycle. All right. So your person could be with a karmic partner. They could be like um, having addictions, whatever it is that is keeping you guys apart. Okay. And it could even be their baggage. Their baggage, their old habits. Spirit is asking them to close these off, understanding their power. That cycle of just staying there in pain, not thinking that they can be happy. I'm um, just wallowing in a comfort zone. 
um, of isolation, of pain, of longing, and giving their power away to other things and other people, spirit is asking them to close off that cycle. This is what they're being guided to do right now. In this isolation, in this hermit mode, this is what spirit wants them to do. All right, so let's see how they're thinking and feeling about you. Let us get six cards. How are they thinking and feeling about you um, at this time? Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They're depressed. They're overthinking things. They're paranoid. They're unsure of themselves. They want to come forward, but they're not sure if you're going to accept their cup of love. This is the negative aspect of Virgo. You see what I'm saying? They know you're the one. There's two of cups. They know. They know this is it, but they're thinking about everything that can go wrong. All right, let's see. Thinking, we'll get three cards. Feeling, we'll get three cards. So this is thinking. When they think about you, we have the lovers in reverse, Gemini. We have the Ace of Wands. Wow, a lot of sexual energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Yeah, I sense that frustration with that, um, with that wolf there. And we have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Leo, Capricorn energy. How are they feeling? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Five of Cups. You see, this is the energy that we saw in the card, right? It's all that Five of Cups energy. It is, it's grief. It's grief. And we have the Magician in reverse. That's Virgo and Gemini. Okay. All right. Well, what do we have here? All right. When they think about you, this person knows that you're the one. Look at here. Okay. Lovers upright means that there's a choice. This person doesn't see that there's any choice. They see you as part of themselves. They see you um, as their mirror soul. There's nobody else for this person. There's nobody else for this person. Um, they feel so passionate about you. When they think about you, they feel like they can do anything. They feel energized. They feel empowered. Empowered. And there's so much sexual energy that they want to ground. You see how this... Oh, my God. I mean, come on, guys. This is a penis and a vagina. Come on. Come on. There's a penis, the walls of the vagina. So they are thinking about sex nonstop as well. So this will also increases the frustration. So they're thinking about you in a loving way, very emotionally connected. And then they're thinking about you in a sexual way. So it's like all their chakras are fired up. But they feel like they have lost you. They feel like they've lost you. Now, if they, this could also mean your person might be in a marriage or in another situation and they're thinking about breaking up or getting a divorce. This is my divorce card. Or this could be karmic family members and friends um, that they're thinking about. Like, what, what are these people going to think if I move um, towards my love? Okay, let me pull some cards on that. Let's see what that's about. Let's see what that Ten of Pentacles is about. That Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What's that? We have the Page of Swords in reverse. Looks like you, got, you guys aren't talking. This person thinks that they've lost you. Um, but this had to happen. And maybe you guys went into separation or you ghosted them or you blocked them. That had to happen for this person to realize who you were and to acknowledge their feelings. They didn't want to see the truth of their feelings. But now they have, they have no choice. The way they've been bombarded by the universe and the memories of you, they have to acknowledge how they feel. They didn't want to acknowledge how they feel. This person was running. They were running. But now they know it's you. And they want this love. They want this love with every fiber of their being. Every, every bit of them wants you. And this is what reinforces um, that feeling of loneliness. Every bit of them wants you. 
in their heart space they want to ground this they want to provide for you they want to provide a home they want to have some kind of stability here they they know that you deserve the world and they want to give it to you the ace of pentacles is that solid 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 offer but they feel like it's too late they're not realizing that it's not they think that it's too late you are still there shining that light for them they don't know that they can't see that because they are wallowing in their heartbreak and their grief They think that it's, it's all over and that's why they're not doing anything to manifest this as well. They feel like that's a fool's errand. Now, this magician in reverse could be someone in their life who is trying to manipulate them because the magician in reverse is the master manipulator. That's the master of illusion. Okay. The magician in reverse is also the dark magician which can talk about spell work. So let me pull some cards on that and let me see what it is. But I feel that it's them not standing in their power because it's like they've given up the fight. They're, in, they're grieving. Yeah, they feel like they can't give you anything. And you deserve everything. I'm getting also that there's something that's ending in their world. Another relationship. They were with some kind of gold digger. Somebody who was abusing them, maybe even cheated on them. Because in my readings, all reverse court cards are karmic energies. And we have the king of pentacles in reverse, who is very materialistic and very much a gold digger. And we have the queen of wands in reverse, who is very abusive physically, um, sexually, um, and also spiritually. So it looks like there's a, some kind of big upheaval that's happening in their life right now. They don't feel like right now is the right time to, for them to manifest this relationship. There's something that's ending in their life. Let's see what this Five of Cups is about. Yeah, they're, they're in some kind of toxic situation. And it looks like they may have chosen this third party over you. But now they're seeing the truth. Now they know that you're the one, so it really hurts. They throw away true love um, for this. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, I wanted to give you that solid offer of feeling trapped elsewhere. Mm hmm. Yeah. They were there holding on to a comfort zone, holding on to their finances, but it looks like their world is about to be turned upside down. And that has to happen, Spirit is saying, because your person needs to move on and move forward. They have been stuck. In a cycle of pain, they've been stuck in a cycle of toxicity, of addictions, and um, for the longest while, this had to happen for your person um, to move forward. It had to happen. So it looks like their world is about to be rocked. So if they think that they're missing you now, wait till they have this shakeup because there's a big shakeup that's coming in their life. Spirit is telling them, that whatever they're in, whether it's an addiction or another situation, they have to end it now. So that is what your person is thinking and feeling. They know that they have to end another situation to come towards you. Every fiber of their being wants you in every, in every single way and in every single position, okay? <laughs> okay? And they miss you so, so very much. All right. So if this sounds like your person's energy or what you've been feeling in your heart, join me in Extended. We'll go into your vibes bag. What's inside the vibes bag? Well, inside there I have dice, I have letters, I have 3D messages. I have what's hidden in your connection. We're, we're going to get what's the most, most important message that Spirit wants you to know about your connection right now. We're going to look at some charms and then we're going to get an Oracle card for guidance. Okay. So guys, I thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Grateful for your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments. They all help the channel grow. And if you're able to go a step further and interact with any of the ads that may have played during this reading, that's beautiful energy exchange for me. And of course, for any reader that you enjoy because it allows that beautiful flow of energy. In every relationship, there must be equal give and take, okay? Guys, I love you. Take care of yourselves, okay? Be safe. Bye. Hey pal two, if you chose the crystal unicorn tarot and the black tumuline, 
um, this is your reading. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into the Magical Dimensions deck. And I want to thank Mandy um, for sending this to me. Thank you so very much. It's an absolutely amazing deck, Mandy. Thank you very much. All right, so let's get a significator for your person and their energy towards you at this time, pal, too. Oh, wow. We have galactic guidance. So we're tapping in here to two star seeds. It says star family, assistance, cooperation. What am I getting from this? All right, this person realizes that you guys have a mission together okay um they know that you're the one there's some kind of activation that's happening in their third eye right now that's making them see the truth of who you are now i'm noticing everybody both of these people have very long hair okay hers is longer than his own okay this person is realizing now hair is always about wisdom especially spiritual wisdom so this person is growing in spiritual wisdom okay and there's a lot of um downloads that they are receiving from the universe in addition to this i am getting that you guys are getting some kind of galactic guidance or some kind of help from your council of light from your spirit support team right now now it's a card number 18 that's the moon so that's those are about the things that are going on behind the veil those are about the, the unknown so um you guys don't know that you're receiving some kind of galactic um support right now yes support to um the the, the your person if it's divine masculine um is receiving support in healing his heart and you are receiving support in opening this looks like your higher heart your higher heart and your third eye that's the activations that are going on for you um, at this time but you guys are meant to bring some kind of truth to this world because you guys are both cloaked in blue this person's realizing the truth about you and the truth about the mission that they have here Guys, I'm going to read this one from the book because it's pretty interesting there. I'm still going to I'll pull cards, a um, couple cards on it. But this is interesting. Let me see this 18. Let's see this galactic guidance that you guys are getting here. Yeah, so whoever's tapping into this, it looks like you guys are in the Blu-ray. Okay. It says, galactic guidance resonates to the energy of star beings that exist across the multitude of galaxies and also surround and assist with the Gaian transformation. They help in keeping the peace within the galactic federations and the great plan. There are more worlds beyond which the eye can see and more expansive wonders than the mind can fathom. These powerful beings of otherworldly origins with powerful interest, with positive interest in Gaia also wish to connect with their with her inhabitants to ensure a peaceful coexistence. If you get this card, galactic beings wish to connect with you to share their wisdom and advanced technologies. You are also ready to reconnect with star family who may be of great benefit for your future. Open your abilities of telepathy and alternate forms of communication. Listen carefully to signs and messages that are coming through at this time. You are ready to advance and they're saying um, Moldavite should be good and meteorite should be good. Um, and in terms of an essential oil, it says um, Neroli. So it looks like you guys are receiving downloads and guidance from galactic beings. They want to talk to you guys. I think you guys are receiving these messages already, but they want you to open up the lines of communication, whether it is through tarot, whether it is through meditation, telepathy, setting an intention that you're going to be open to receive um, this guidance, to receive this knowledge. It looks like they're coming through for you. So your staff family wants to reconnect. And I think they're working particularly with your person. Now, when they hear about staff family wanting to reconnect, 
I'm getting that this is the vibration of your person. Um, they realize that you guys are soul family, star family, and they want to reconnect. They want to cooperate with you. This person wants to assist you in some particular kind of way. They want to be there for you. They want to have your back. You see how he's standing behind her? He want, this person wants to have your back. That's what I'm seeing. They want to have your back. Let's pull three cards on that. Yeah, we have a page of cups coming through. Somebody wants to express their emotions. We have a ten of pentacles coming through in reverse. And we have an ace of pentacles in reverse. What am I getting with this? This person wants to come through and express their emotions. They're stepping into their masculine energy and power. I think this person's going through a rough time financially. Okay, they can't give you anything solid right now. For some of them, they're going through a divorce or a breakup, but they want to tell you how they feel. For some of them, they want to come through with some kind of apology. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person's going through some kind of breakup. But they want to communicate with you. This person wants to be your friend. They want to be your friend. It's interesting that you guys chose a unicorn tarot. Um, because they, these, they're high vibr and then these high vibrational beings are coming through. That's interesting. All right, so let us see how this person's thinking and feeling about you. But that's one bit of advice for you. Um, you need to open up the lines of communication to your star family. They want to um, connect. Interesting. All right, so let's have a look. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on with the unicorns. We have eight of swords in reverse. Somebody freeing themselves, but we saw it, right? So this person might even want to tell you that. Yeah, they want to collaborate with you. You see, we're getting the messages, right? They want to corroborate. Uh, what am I saying? Corroborate. Maybe they want to confirm what you've been getting intuitively about them and their situation, whatever it is. Um, they want to collaborate with you. They want to work together with you. All right, so let's have a look. When this person thinks about you, what are they thinking? Where is their mind at? So I'm going to get three cards for the mental energy. We have the nine of wands in reverse. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. We have the strength card. Beautiful, Leo. And we have the Eight of Cups. Yes, that's exactly what I felt. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And in terms of their heart space and what they're feeling, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. More Earth energy. And we have the Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and King of Pentacles on the bottom. So this is someone who, who wants to take care of you. They want to show up, just not right now from the message that I'm getting. What am I getting here? I think this person has been very defensive against, uh, defensive, okay, in your relationship. They had thick walls up, okay, and they were trying to shut you out. They didn't want to see who you were because it looks like seeing who you were, acknowledging this relationship may have disrupted their life. But it looks like they've been looking at the past, okay? And getting some kind of healing there. You see the star on his bum, okay? Getting some kind of healing there. And this is what's causing them to open up. Um, this is what's also causing them to... I want to get the right sequence of words. To no longer persevere in either another connection or at some kind of toxic job or something like that. They're just releasing that. They're releasing that and stepping into their own personal power. And they're walking away. So there's something that they were, they were protective of. Something that they were fighting for. Something they felt like they had to defend. I feel for some of you it could have been a karmic relationship. For others of you it was a job. For others of you it was their mother. They were, they were defending this person. Um, to the detriment of your relationship. But right now I see this person stepping into their personal power, stepping into their strength, and they are walking away from that situation. Let's pull some cards on that. 
Let's see what's going on here. Let's see that nine of wands reverse. Yeah, they were in uh, some kind of toxic situation. Look at the karmic coming out here. In my in my readings, all reverse court cards are karmic energies, and this is a, a the um, physical and sexually abusive karmic. Okay, also financially abusive karmic as well. Also, the karmic most likely to use spell work. That's them. Okay, it looks like they had some kind of family setup, and then your person's like, "Why am I fighting for this?" I'm ready to be happy. It looks like whatever it was here, there was an uh, imbalance in this relationship. And your person's like, you know what? Fuck it. It's time for me to do my healing work. Okay. So they're no longer persevering that toxic situation. And right now they are stepping into their personal power and strength. Okay. With regard to this karmic. It looks like they were giving their power away to this karmic energy. But now they're becoming stable and they want to move towards the empress. And they know they have to free themselves. So what is this person going to do? This person's going to walk away. They're going to walk away. They're ending a karmic cycle. Um, a cycle of um, holding on to something that didn't serve them. They're ending that. Um, and it's making them quite depressed. Because it looks like this was a comfort zone for them for a long time. Okay. They're ending that. They're also ending a cycle um, of overthinking things. Okay. They're ending a cycle of giving to that relationship. Right now, this person, they're focusing on being single. They're focused on building themselves up. They're focused on loving themselves with this Nine of Pentacles energy. What are they feeling in their heart space? They're feeling like they can't give you what you want right now. Okay, they can't invest in this relationship as they want right now. Um, they are pretty sure that you're the one. They're no longer going back and forth in their head, back and forth in their head. They're not doing that. Right, they know that you're the one, but right now is not the right time because this person right now, it looks like they are heartbroken. I keep seeing it. The nine of pentacles. It looks like they're breaking up with a karmic. Either a karmic or some there's some big shift, as, as as I said, maybe even a death in the family. But there's some big shift that's happening in this person's life. And this is what's causing them to finally walk away and move on, right? No longer fighting. Yeah, no longer juggling. Right now they're moving towards love, but they're saying it's not the right time. Let's pull the cards on that seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. No, it's, it's not the right time. They're releasing a third party right now. We have the three of swords in reverse. Okay. They're releasing that third party. It's not the right time. They've made a decision. They're taking action, but it is not the right time. Okay, we have two of pentacles in reverse there. Yeah, they're still dealing with this karmic. They're, f they're closing up that cycle. It's not the right time for you guys. They are heartbroken. And somebody was asking me the last time, how can they be heartbroken when they didn't love that person? Well, they might not be in love with that person, but they will still care. They will still care for that person. They might have built a life with that person, had a family with that person, pegged all their, um, their hopes and dreams, pumped money and energy and time and emotions. They would still care. Okay? No matter how big the love is that they're going to move towards, they still care about this person. They still care about this person's well-being. I may, may always care about this person. You know, that's just something that you have to accept. So if this is um, feeling like your person's energy, um, join me in the extended version of this reading. And what we're going to do there, um, we're going to get, we, well, I have dice, okay? And we're going to get what is the message there. Um, I have letters. Um, I have 3D messages from your person. I have, we're going to look at what's hidden in your connection right now. We're going to look at what's the most important message you need to know about your soul connection. Um, there are charms that I have there. And then we also have um, oracle cards for guidance. Okay. So, pal two, that was your reading. I hope that helped you. Take care. And if you're not able to join me in Extended, I'll be ever so grateful for your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments. They all help the channel grow. And if you can go a step further and interact with any of the ads that may have played during this reading, that'd be beautiful energy exchange for me. And of course, for any reader that you enjoy, you know, it's equal energetic exchange, every, every relationship. Okay. All right, guys, take care. Bye.
pile three if you chose the mythical creatures tarot and the green card side this is your reading so before we get into the carrot <laughs> carrot <laughs> i'm sorry i'm dirty i'm dirty i'm dirty okay please forgive me i'm just dirty okay <laughs> Some of you guys have been getting into the carrots. <laughs> or maybe the carrot has been getting into you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> sorry about that. Right. So, pile three. Pile three. Or oh, it could be carrots um, related to diamonds. Okay, so there's some kind of commitment that's coming through here. You see how I covered that? <laughs> All right, so any who's. Um, let's get a significator for your person, okay? What is the energy that they're coming into this reading with? This is the, um, so this is the energy towards you. We have illumination. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You see, you've been lighting the way for this person. Oh my God, it's like a marathon, isn't it? You've been lighting the way for this person. It's like they finally followed the fucking breadcrumbs <laughs> and realized who you are. Okay, it says expression, positivity, and joy, inspiration. To me, this is almost like um, it's the sun card. It's, a, it's like the sun card and the star card all in one. It's like your person finally realizes everything they're finally seeing everything clearly now i don't know if they took some kind of psychedelic mushrooms or or s there's something that kind of opened them up um to spirit and this is where why all these downloads are now coming in i'm getting this group very connected it's so strange right you guys chose the one with the butterflies and here there are a lot of wings in this deck so there's some kind of ascension energy that is going on here as well yeah because this person's coming out is coming up a hill so they're definitely ascending there's definitely some kind of transformation that is happening there's this five pointed star so they're healing but there's some kind of divine grace or um some sort of activation both of you guys um are getting right now follow that star something new is being born something new is being born this person's family um following the breadcrumbs this this is this is beautiful so they're realizing exactly who you are they're like it's like an aha moment this bulb went off so it could be twin flames here because there are a lot of candles and flames in this deck. And it's like you were just waiting for this person to play catch up. So I see them coming up that hill towards you. Let's pull three cards and let's see what that's about. But they, it's like they know. They know. Yeah, you see, even the Tower in Reverse talks about epiphanies. It talks about downloads. It talks about that aha moment, okay? Yeah, your person, they look like they're taking action. It looks like they were, they were confused. They didn't know which way to go, juggling, juggling, right? But there's some, it's like something just went off in their brain. They know that you're the one right now. <clears throat> I feel like you guys can watch Pal 1. That's what I feel. You know, you guys are usually watching Pile 2 or something. You guys can watch Pile 1. All right, let's see. Let's see on that. Let's see. Three of Cups. The Five of Swords reversed. Yeah. And the Moon reversed. It's like they finally get it. Um, because the Moon can be about illusion. They're finally coming out of illusion. They, they're coming out of that self sabotage sabotaging energy and they're finally realizing who or what makes them happy yeah this person was with somebody else i mean look at the three of cups here they were they were with someone else now maybe that's the reason why i said carrot as well maybe this person was married but it looks like they want to commit to you 
because the three of cups is also a reason for celebration so that's like weddings and engagements and that kind of stuff so there's something coming through about them wanting to um come back and make peace okay make peace because they're finally realizing you're the one look i saw look the hierophant is here so there's some kind of commitment um that they want to bring to you but i do feel that they might be with somebody else all right so let's get into the tarot and see what's going on i do think they came the reason they were able to get these downloads finally is that they went through some kind of period of difficulty there's a card number 23 23 reduced to 5 and 5 is all about challenge change it is the hierophant and those are the big spiritual lessons okay so it looks like they learned a hard lesson but this is what they needed to ascend this is what they need to pull themselves um, out of that rut that they've been in all right so let's go look into the mythical creatures tarot and let's see how are they thinking and feeling about you right now <clears throat> How are they thinking and feeling about you right now? Let's cut the deck. We have the four of wands in reverse. Yeah, there's some kind of foundation. Something that they thought they knew. Something that they built their hopes upon, their life upon. Something is crumbling. Okay, and they're not ready to give you any kind of um, solid offers just yet. They're trying to get their life back into balance. Justice has been served. Justice has been served. They've been, they've, they've been with some, I really think someone else, or in some other situation I was building some. Could even be a job, but I'm really getting it might have been with a person. All right, so when they think about you and this connection, what's going on in the headspace? What's going on in the headspace? We have the Queen of Wands reverse. Now, in my readings, or reverse court cards are karmic energies. Okay, so this is like a karmic in their life. It could be a mother energy, could be an intimate partner, or that is them just not taking action. That's Aries energy. <clears throat> we have the Hierophant coming out again, Taurus. And we have the King of Swords reverse. That's another karmic. So. This is the physically abusive karmic, the spiritually and sexually abusive karmic, financially abusive karmic, and this is the verbally abusive karmic. This is also, I only have two cards in tarot that are narcissists, and it's the king of swords reverse and the sun card in reverse. So what am I getting here? I'm getting that your person is either married to or committed to some kind of a long-term commitment with some kind of narcissistic energy. When we see king of swords reverse, we're talking about clinical narcissist we're talking about we're not talking about they have a little narcissistic tendencies no we're talking about a clinical narcissist if they've not been diagnosed they need to rush the psychiatrist because there's a diagnosis there okay yeah. this is what your person um has been tied to has been bound to this is why they're feeling disempowered right now it's like that uh, in these cars i get regret they're regretting that that's what i'm getting they're regretting that they didn't commit to you they're regretting, that they're regretting that they didn't take action when they were supposed to. And they're regretting that they didn't speak their truth when they were meant to speak their truth. I'm getting a lot of regret off of these cards. They chose someone else and they just went from the fine pan into the fucking fire. And they got burned. They got burned. So they learned a very powerful lesson. This is a Hierophant. They learned about a very powerful lesson, not just about the person that they're with, but about, about them. Because remember, this is something karmic that's happened to your person, right? So it looks like in the past, or it might even be generational karma. They abused their power and authority physically, and they may have abused their power, power and authority verbally. And it looks like everything came full fucking circle, right? That's where that illumination is coming from. It's that hard lesson. So a lot of regret. They may have even been abusive to you. I'm going to pull cards and deconstruct those cards. Let's see. Let's see the heart space. I just want to talk about what I, what I got before I forgot. Heart space. Four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, page of swords reverse. They ain't ready to talk to anybody. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And we have the seven of wands. This is them standing up for themselves and in erecting those healthy boundaries. Okay. Whoever they're with, very cutting, very quarrelsome. Because the page of swords in reverse is quarrelsome. Okay. But your person's healing right now. Okay. And part of that healing process is stepping into self-love. And part of self-love is setting healthy boundaries, physical boundaries, energetic boundaries, spiritual boundaries, emotional boundaries. Okay. This is what they're doing right now. All right. I think this with regard to you. I think this person is getting ready for to fight for this connection. But right now, um, they are thinking about healing the situation. They're thinking about fighting for this connection, but they are not ready to speak just yet. They know they got to, they got to deal with this. They got to deal with this that's happening here. Let's pull some cards. <clears throat> so what are they thinking? Spirit, why do you give us this queen of wands in reverse? What are they thinking? They're thinking right now, um, they can't make any moves, physical moves towards you. What are they? What they are doing is making energetic moves towards you because they are here represented as the emperor. So they know that they are your emperor, even though they haven't said it. They know that's what the illumination is all about. They have made that decision. They're pretty sure about that. That's not the problem. Okay. So they're thinking of themselves as the emperor, but right now they're feeling like they can't make any moves. Why they can't make any moves towards you? Okay. We got that high priestess. They're staying mute. Why? Because they're making a plan. Remember, the king of wands, he's a warmonger, but he does not go to war without a plan. All right. So this person making a plan, but this, and this, they're seeing, they're feeling and thinking that it ain't time to make a move just yet. Now the king of wands, he's just like the queen of wands. They are instinctive. Okay. When they get that inspiration from spirit, they move. Okay. And when they, when they, when they feel like it's not the time, when they get that feeling that it's not the time to move, they're not going to, they have to get that, they have to get that 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 inspiration from spirit they're not feeling that it's the right time just yet okay i feel this person i think this person's either married or in a high level commitment um and they're feeling so alone definitely watch power one okay feeling so alone and unsupported in that situation and it is very dysfunctional very disruptive okay your person's realizing right now that they either got married to or got committed to a karmic soulmate. I feel they know that phrase. I feel they know that it's definitely not the one. They're realizing that this person seriously abusive. They're seeing everything clearly now. No longer confused. That person that they were there with, or it could be even um, um, a mother, a parent, a um, friend, whatever it is. That person... Um, they had your person confused in illusion. They spun this web of lies, but now your person sees everything clearly and they are about to take justice into their own hands and bring balance back to their life. They want to commit to you. They just think that it's not the right time. And that's why they may not be speaking their whole truth right now. That's what they're thinking. They want to heal this situation with you. We have the four of swords. Yeah, but they're feeling conflicted. Why? Yeah, because they don't have the balls or whatever anatomy they need to come forward. This is someone who has insecurities. So they keep going back and forth in their head. Of, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, shouldn't I? I mean, their heart is telling them, go and make things right, please. You have to make things right. But they're like, should I, shouldn't I? What if this person rejects me? What if they don't want to talk to me? You know, that kind of self-talk. And that's why they end up doing nothing. That's why they end up saying nothing. Okay, but they're getting those downloads though. That's that tower in reverse comes out again. Yeah, but they're not doing anything about it. <laughs> they want to get themselves stable. Everything in their life is unstable right now. Okay, because they're going through an awakening process. And you know when you go through that awakening process, everything that's not meant to be in your life falls away. Everything. So they're being guarded right now, okay, um, against this karmic energy. They're not letting this karmic energy in emotionally because they are getting ready to take a leap of faith. This is what, this is what their heart is telling them to do. This is what they know they must do. But your person is thinking it is just not the right time. It's not the right time to move. They are in the king of wands energy. And the king of wands is a soldier. It's all about instincts. 
and they're not getting that right now okay they are trying to deal with this this heavy energy in their life so if this feels like what you've been feeling what you've been getting within your psyche um join me in the extended right um we're going to go into um the vibes bag in here i have dice i have scrabble letters i have 3d messages from them i have um What's hidden in this connection? What's the most important message that spirit wants you to know about this connection? I have charms and I have oracle cards for guidance. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for bearing with me and, you know, logging into my channel and the reading. I'm grateful for your likes, shares, subscribes, um, comments. They all help the channel grow. And if you're able to interact with any of the ads that may have played during this reading, that's a beautiful energy exchange for me and for any reader that you may enjoy. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.